some of the new things that are available now uh, have been developed as what are called small molecules. These are oral treatments that look very promising for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis that have very specific mechanisms of action. Unlike currently available oral treatments, these drugs target very specific components of the immune system and reduce the activity in rheumatoid arthritis. So that's a very exciting, uh, that's a very exciting development. As well, there's going to be a lot of presentations about the safety and the benefit of the newer treatments of rheumatoid arthritis, such as the TNF drugs. We know now that these drugs reduce the progression of disease. We also know from some studies that will be presented at this meeting that the aggressive use of conventional therapies also reduces the progression of disease and makes the outcomes, makes people's lives better. It turns out that the concerns that we've been having about some of the drugs in terms of developing cancers and developing infections still are there. They're not trivial, but they may not be as great as we had thought. There will be new information presented about those kind of things, those side effects related to these drugs. Some of the other things that we're going to see are studies that look at some other effects of rheumatoid arthritis on the body. Rheumatoid arthritis is not just a disease of joints, but it's also a disease that can affect other organs, such as the heart and the lungs. So there are, are studies that are going to be presented which demonstrate that the disease rheumatoid arthritis is associated with a higher chance of having heart disease, which we have known, but what's new is that this chance of having heart disease is independent of the activity of the disease or even the duration of rheumatoid arthritis. It's something about how the rheumatoid arthritis affects probably the internal linings of the blood vessels that causes this. 